Lucia, aka Tatooine, aka the Pink Hat Hiker. Um, and I am doing an unboxing of my new uh, Nemo uh, Dragonfly One Person Ultra Light Tent. Very, very excited. Um, I've been using Nemo products for a while. Um, I got the Hornet Two Person Tent to use just for myself um, a few years ago before they did the upgrades. And um, I absolutely love that tent, but I was really hoping to upgrade to one that is a little bit lighter and freestanding. Um, the Hornet is only semi-freestanding. If you really want the tent to be tight, you gotta stake it at the tow box. With the freestanding tents, you don't have to stake it down if it's not windy. And that's kind of what, what I was looking for. So, I got me this beauty. Um, and, I opted to get, I know a lot of people don't um, always get the footprint. I opted to get to the footprint for this one just because it is very, very thin material. And I would hate to be out on the trail and um, in a rocky section and have it puncture the tent and render it not usable anymore. So um, I'm willing to carry the extra weight. It's, it's interesting actually, the footprint for the dragon uh, fly, which is a smaller tent, actually feels heavier than the footprint for the two-person hornet that I have. So I'm gonna have to do some comparisons there. Watch out for that video coming up. Um, but yeah, this definitely feels a little bit heavier. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing um, that I wanna point out is that the bag that it comes with, I never use a bag. Um, actually, when I'm backpacking, I tend to just stick my tent into the extra spaces, um, but a lot of people still opt to use their bags. If you do, um, this is really great because if you're not going to take your rainfly with you, if you know it's going to be sunny, you know it's going to be beautiful, there's no reason to bring your rainfly, but you still want to bring your, um, your tent bag, um, the Nemo has these sectional, uh, these, it's sectioned off. So if you're just bringing one piece of it, you can cinch here and section it off so it becomes its own little little bag, which is kind of nice. Another thing that Nemo does, and I can't speak for any of the other brands because I just don't have any of them, um, but I really like that um, Nemo puts a little constellation map in, um, in all of their tech bags and it has all the major constellations, Gemini, Ursa Major, um, Orion, Taurus, Virgo, um, and all that stuff. And then behind it is gonna be your instructions on how to set up the tent. The purchase also comes with some guidelines um, a tiny little patch, which um, I would also recommend getting some uh, no-sew patches or uh, gear aid tape to take with you. Um, these are This little piece is great, but if you have a large hole in your tent, this isn't gonna do much for you. So I recommend also um, packing that into there. Um, it also comes with all of your stakes that you'll need. Uh, they do make an, up, an upgraded version of these. Um, uh, if you, if you want a little bit lighter and a little bit more sturdy, you can upgrade these to um, Nemo's other stakes. All right. And in here, we've got our poles. Oh my gosh, they're so small. This, I, these, are, these are great. Um, I feel like they're so much smaller than the Hornet poles, but it could just be that um, these are the upgraded poles. Uh, I know that the or the the Hornet got an upgrade a year or two ago, and um, I believe that the poles were upgraded at that time as well. So in with your poles will also be one of these little guys. So this is a pole repair splint. And you don't ever want to go out without it. If you hit 
super strong winds and one of your poles break, or I don't know, you let your teenage daughter set up your tent and she does it a little too vigorously and snaps a pole, you're gonna want one of these. Um, yes, that happened to me um, while I was overnighting on Mount Baldy and um, I was lucky that I had this with me. I keep it um, in with my stakes and um, you just put it over the spot where it broke or um, snapped and it will hold everything together for you. So hopefully it will hold everything together for you. So you got your poles. This is the rain fly here. Um, I'm not gonna open it up all the way because we don't need that yet. And here's the tent. Now, first thing I'm gonna say is the material feels different than my Nemo, again, or my Hornet. That could just be because my Hornet has gotten a lot of use and I just don't remember what it felt like new. Um, but, you know, or they upgraded the material. Um, it just feels so soft. <laughs> All right, so when you're setting it up, first things first, you're gonna wanna put down your footprint. Now they suggest that you do it with the Nemo logo facing up. I think that's just a, um, I don't think you have to, but that's what they suggest. Uh, the side with the logo is going to be your head and the side with, uh, without, so the, the green flaps, uh, so you can see these ones are gray. The green ones are going to be your toe box. All right which is also so, can I just say, my Hornet does not have the color coding like that and it gets really confusing when you're setting up, especially in the wind and you're trying to figure out what side uh, the rain, you know, which way the rain fly goes. Is it inside out? Is it backwards? Is it upside down? Same thing with the actual tent. I'm very excited about this tent um, having the color coordination because that's gonna make life so much easier. All right, so basically you just, Lay this on top, do the same on the other side. All right, and then you put together your poles and get that started. Now my, again, my Hornet is an older model and doesn't have the crossbar in it like the newer models do. So I am not familiar with how that goes together. So this will be a first time for me. being so uh you know just be gentle and a grommet here and it looks like you stick these bad boys in it'll snap right into place and then little black snaps go on top And kind of think that needs to go on top. 
learning experience here, like I said. Never, my, my version does not have this. All right, we are in business now. I put it together with the door facing away from the camera. So the door is actually over here. Um, but I am going to bring you with me so that you can see. All right. So, oh, there's Layla. Say hi, Layla. Um, this is the door. And I'm not going to do the tent inside because or the um, rainfly inside. I'll do that when I do my full review, when I take it outside. Um, but we are now inside the tent, and it's actually, for a one-person tent, it's pretty roomy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, wow, the, the zipper, my zipper has got, had so much dirt and stuff in it over the years that I love it. It's great. It's so roomy. It is so much more roomy um, headspace wise than the Hornet, uh, my, my original Hornet. Um, like I said, the new ones also have the extra um, headspace because they have the crossbar. Um, mine doesn't have that though. But if I, I'm five, six, and my feet are now touching the um, end of the tent, and I still have all of this space. So it's, it is really roomy. I am sitting up and you can see I still have quite a bit of space here. If you're super tall, um, you might not have that much head space. Um, the other cool thing that it comes with is um, this, this extra cool storage area up top where, and then it has this one here where you can put your headlight and it'll illuminate the entire tent. Uh, there are no side pockets, um, as you can see here, no side pockets. Oh, I lied. I lied. I found it. It's just up high. Let's see. Is there one? There's only one on that side and that's not a pocket. So there is side pocket here, overhead pocket here, which I freaking love and a headlamp pocket there. So if you're in the market for a, an ultralight single person tent, um, definitely give the Dragonfly a chance. Um, I'm really impressed with just this little unboxing setup and I can't wait to take it out and use it in the wild. So stay tuned for that video um, as I will be taking it out with the Hornet that I have to make comparisons side by side so that you all can make a decision um, between uh, the Hornet and the Dragonfly if that's something you're interested in. So stay tuned, happy hiking, and stay safe.